All right, back on the uh, clay today. I'm going to work on the lower part of her body right now. I've got to uh, give her a stomach. She doesn't actually have one right now. And, uh, and then I can put the belt on and that will determine uh, where the uh, folds in the dress are. And uh, Okay. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. Don't worry, she's not going to have a pot belly. I'll just uh, I'll come back and refine the shape with a, a wire tool. I had somebody a while back ask me how I use wire tools, and that's basically how you use them. You just shape your clay with them. And there's no set way of doing it. You just have to use them as the uh, moment requires. All right, I'm just uh, getting ready to put tacks on her, her belt. I've got to try to get the belt straight enough so I can do that accurately. It's got to be the same distance from the edge of the belt to the tack. This is a uh, metal tab that goes inside of a file folder, and I took it out. It makes a great little ruler. I'm working on a bit of a handicap today. I burnt my fingertip this morning with some boiling water, and it hurts. No bubble yet, but I don't doubt that it will happen. And it's extremely painful. Just stupid little me. All right, now I'm going to space these uh, I know it's hard to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place these little tacks every, i got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Anyway, I'm just spacing them out on the belt so that they're even. I'm doing the belt before I put it on her because there's no way of doing this once it's on her. All right, I'm just uh, doing the uh, tanks right now. I've got a piece of clay rolled out to a certain thickness so that all of them come out the same size and I try to cut them the same amount so that I don't have one bigger than the other. I'm 
This will just take time. Yeah, this is kind of like uh, watching grass grow. It's about that boring. But you know, there's a treasure at the end. A belt that looks pretty good. And then you gotta hope you don't screw up all the work you did by rubbing it with your finger as you're sculpting. It's always that possibility. But if you have patience, it works out. Now, I've got to go through and uh, clean up that line between each tack so that doesn't show up. Oh, a little thunder. All right, I did 35 on the top row. I'm doing 35 on the bottom row. That's 70 all together. Okay, the last few. I've still got to clean up the lines, but... Ah, it's starting to rain outside. Well, we need it to. Now, I made the belt so that it doesn't completely surround her. Because I'm going to have to put a buckle and a strap that will hold the uh, belt on her waist. Okay, I've just uh, made the little belt. And I'm going to make the holes for the uh, buckle. I think you can hear the rain starting to fall. Go. All right, that's the belt. It worked out good. It all makes sense now. And you see why I put the tacks on first before I put the belt on. It just works better that way. All right, guys. See you next time. Good night.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.